And we're back. What episode is this? 17? Episode. Is it 17? I think it's 18 now. Is it 18? Shit. When you do so many podcasts, Man, we're just podcasting you, away. You, you we don't count. even. We just don't even have to we, keep track. We, we have casted a lot of pods. I wonder, right. you know, like does <laughs> seventeen or eighteen of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then add the the ones from back in the day, and it's like it's upwards of almost twenty five at this point. I think Joe Rogan did like what? had a thousand episodes or something like that the uh, other day, or two thousand. Wow. Why do you consist on? Well, that's the Mecca, right? us to Joe Rogan. Well, I mean, so like <laughs> that's like the the target to shoot for, right? Yeah, like I mean, like if, when if someone designs a car, they're like, I need to. It's got to be a core. Look at you got to you know you're going after the Corvette, exactly. the best car ever made, and or you're going or like you know like if you're a uh, if you're a LeBron James, you're going for Michael Jordan, right? A Geo mm-hmm. Metro does not dream to be a Corvette. The Geo Metro dreams to be a Ford Tempo. Like no. that's all I'm saying. Like, let's get to Ford all Tempo cars status. Dream to be a Corvette, <laughs> <laughs> not a Firebird. Uh, Firebirds wish they were Corvettes, but they're Corvettes' cousin and uh, <laughs> cousin that grew up out so in the sticks. So what's the family tree? That's a good still, start to the pot. What's the, the family tree of the? What's a? What about a Dodge Viper? Okay, that's not I General love, Motors. I so love. you're yeah, talking that's to okay. somebody who's a, a different family. Yeah, you're talking to somebody who I put General Motors vehicles above family. all else's because I've had the best luck with them and they uh, win races. So talking about if GM. You, yeah, if you want a good truck, you buy a Chevy, and if you want a, something that's going to win a race, you get a LS motor, and like, and that's just the way it goes. And like, I thought Ford was first on race day. Uh, Ford sucks. I hate Ford. I'll, I'll never own a Ford. I, I oh. absolutely cannot stand Ford. Oh. Uh, Ford stands for found on road dead. Well, I'll just uh, or fix or repair, repair daily. First on race day. Like, they only All right. One. Well, you know what, dude? I'm just going to get my Ford Fusion and get the fuck out of here. How about that? <laughs> it's not Roll, gonna, roll it's the not, music or we're going to get in a fight. It's not a... Uh, <laughs> hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the road right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change I leave the city and return with my change They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They want to knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Critically acclaimed podcast with Tyler and Grayson. Brandon couldn't be here because he drives a Ford and it's a piece of shit. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, guys, I decided that in May, I'm going to try to get healthy and I'm going back to the gym, going tomorrow oh, yeah. back to the gym. I've been dieting. It's only been two days, May 2nd, but, but I've been done, doing I've been it. doing my diet and it's been working really good. Like I've, I've stuck to it for the two days, but I'm trying to do it for 30 days straight. No cheat days or nothing. I'm doing the keto diet. Everything starts at day one. Keto. Keto. Yep. I think it's the only one that I could legit do and be successful at. I I, I actually keto. No, I, I I've heard a lot of people have a lot of success on that keto diet. Yeah. Uh, the thing, and about, I'm a big dude, so like I need to lose a lot of weight, and the, I would like to lose it. Really the thing fast. about the keto diet that like really, and it really excites me is you can eat bacon. Yeah, you and there's not a lot of diets that you can dressing. eat bacon, like, and you're and also butter. They're, they yeah. love, but you, uh, there's, there's a, there's a coffee. It was like bulletproof coffee, but they, they take a slice of sweet butter and, and they drop it in your coffee. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Isn't that, that and you can stir it with bacon. Co- like <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, not no, a lot. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to, I've heard of the, 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 but, the bulletproof car, the butter coffee. It's fucking coffee. great. Dude. I've heard it's okay. I've never tried it. No, it's really I'm good. I'm going to start drinking a lot more coffee. Like it's going to be kind of a, cause coffee is kind of one of those things you can actually use. They actually have like low carb creamer too. You can put in there mm-hmm. like French vanilla and it kind of helps like get you that sweet. If you really want something sweet, like it kind of gets that craving for you a little bit. So I'm glad that, that, that you finally made this announcement because We've been talking about it for a while, I and I, and like when like we've both and like I'm so unhealthy right now, like I, I really am. And my buddy Tyler, shout out Tyler, he's a dick, but uh, he was <laughs> over here the other day. And he's like, dude, you haven't done anything physical in like 
five years. Like, yeah, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. fuck, you're probably about fucking right. That's like, not true, man. You went and played basketball with me one time and then got laid up for like four months. I, yeah, you know, I didn't even, <laughs> I did, like, I hurt my back before going and playing, and I thought going and playing would actually kind of help, you know, kind of loosen yeah. it up. And then, like, I, like, Wrong. twisted. No, I, like, he stepped on the basketball. Yeah, like, I, was, I went into it. Was, it was the scariest moment of my life. And uh, and yeah, Brandon thought I was gonna twist my. I ankle thought or he was gonna fucking die. But, I just, I was like, I watched it. It was like a deer in the headlights. But also, like doing, you know, been, I mean, everybody knows. I like, talk about it all the time. I've been doing a lot of fishing and hunting and stuff. And yeah. like, I just ain't got the stamina is what I used mm-hmm. to, man. Like age is catching up with me, and it was like, it was like I really need to do something. So right. I'm gonna like after I'm doing keto, creek. dude. Falling in the creek was a big wake up call. I'm not gonna lie. Right. It's like because I felt like I was kind of helpless, and I was like, "This is kind of bullshit." Like mm-hmm. I've, I've always been a pretty athletic person. Always been, you know, like pretty, you know, did a lot of physical stuff. Always been kind of heavy, but you know, like, but now I just feel like I've gotten soft, and like I, I got to get exactly that back. What you're I gotta, about. I, so I used to walk into a bar, and I used to think like, you know, I could probably like fight my way out of here if I needed to. Now I'm just not like I don't think I'll even have gonna, a fucking <laughs> chance. This is gonna stand on the sidelines. This line. is your this is your basis of healthy. Can I fight out of this bar? <laughs> yeah, that's it. If no, the I, answer is no, then I'm helpless. Yes, yeah, like I'm pretty much helpless. And like, what how weird. am I gonna how am I gonna so, protect anybody or how do I defend myself? So I, I, I'm I know well, neither one of us are really excited about putting pictures on Facebook or anything. So how are we gonna are we gonna track the weight loss? I mean, we can. I I you know I'll be honest. I don't use a scale. I just touch my I go by my weight, and I know that I'm really out of shape now, based off the way my shirts fit. That right, I didn't think that's fit a, me the that's same a, way the last year. Than- uh, how I feel, like I've been really groggy, in my back and knees mm-hmm. and hips and shit's been hurting. And uh, and I'm a big dude. I'm bigger now than I've ever been. And, that, me, and me, like, too. me too. Me too. And it's like I really gotta. I really need to do something. I weigh that, more so. than I've ever weighed. I'm 316 pounds. I, I'm guessing I'm about 310. I was about 305 when I went to the doctor a while back, and like I think I've gained weight since then. Since we're not going to use scales, I think I figured it out. And Grayson, as the technical producer, I'm really going to need your help on this. All right. But directly after the recording of this podcast, me and Tyler are going to do a boudoir photo set. Hell yes, I'm ready. <laughs> that really just shows all the angles of our bodies. I knew this was actually going to happen. I have a few outfits in my car. Oh, this nice. is, this nice. is fantastic. <laughs> So I got a ring light in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a boudoir episode or a photo shoot. We'll put it on Facebook for and you folks. And OnlyFans. Ooh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop uh, it. Maybe a little OnlyFans. I'm thinking about a calendar. But either way. <laughs> the critically acclaimed. <laughs> the men of critically acclaimed. As the months go by. Nobody would buy that calendar. <laughs> no, here's the, here's no the setup. As the months go by, you get hotter because I, you're getting I, in th- shape. Okay, so, so I, I like where your head's at because that's where I was going. When it gets to December, you guys are just like ripped. So next month. We'll we'll go four episodes from now, and then we'll do the same boudoir yep. episode and just see how much better. We I went. won't watch the outfits you know, either. <laughs> you know it's crazy. Please don't. You know you know it's crazy. We we put this on OnlyFans and it's more popular than the right. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> that, we retire from it. Like, there is enough chubby chasers out maybe, there. Like maybe maybe man. Like, they're they're like sending you food. Right, like no they're like no, no fatty. You keep gotta eating. eat this pizza for fifty dollars. <laughs> you guys better not get in shape. I'm gonna have to blur out all my f- pictures of my feet because people are paying me twenty bucks a pop. The like varicose veins and <laughs> for, ex- for extra oh, money. Jesus, we man! The feet. This went awry so quickly. Yeah, we were gonna this so, went off the rails. We were gonna for, really for talk about. You let's home, get back on it. Like for those <laughs> of you at home, we were gonna start out by talking about Tyler's diet. And then I was going to talk about what I was going to do to yeah. lose weight. And then Grayson was going to talk about what he was going to do to get healthy. But now I think we've got an OnlyFans. <laughs> I think we've got it figured works. out. So. Oh, my gosh. All right, dude. No eye so contact. We're just going to use this, this, <laughs> the same username for OnlyFans? Yeah, critically right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm oh, setting that up. I'll, uh, I'll start tweeting. Yeah, That'll but anyway. Oh, shit. What if this actually um, uh, goes? <laughs> I know you, you already got a gym membership, so you're no, taking this. Okay. You're, we're taking this serious, so, so like, first off. This so. was not, we weren't in cahoots at all, because you told me that you were going to get healthy when I showed up for the podcast today, but I had gotten. Well, I told a, you my plan. Yes. I've been telling you I was going to yeah. get healthy for, like, a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> But exactly. I actually have a plan, and I explained it. I think it's pretty good, right? It seems yeah. like it's decent. No, no, plan. no. I, I Like, keto, big time. 30 days. You, like, yeah. I got to give 30 days, constant working out, try to work out every day 
Um, if I'm not working out, I'm going to be you, doing something physical, going to, fishing or hunting or something like that. So Tyler's going to try to achieve maximum ketosis. And a, ketosis? Ketosis, yeah. Ketosis. And so, I and I told you guys ass. my Soulless. rational, this is my uh, crazy rational, like, uh, diet and my crazy rational diet is I did get a gym membership and I try to work out five days a week. See, I actually have an actual workout plan I got online and I'll, I'll give the link to Grayson to throw it in there. So I, I, I like feedback on it. If anybody has any, my, my, so my diet is definitely different. I'm not going to go the way of the keto, although I, I do like butter in my coffee and I do like bacon. Um, <laughs> <Brain and> it's <stuff. laughs> so <laughs> one, I am going to uh, maintain under 200 calories a day from liquids. So, and 200 is actually pretty heavy. Like, I really don't think I, I think I can do better. But uh, black coffee, water, unsweetened tea, or all that zero calories. You think 100? I think 100. Hold on, let me check my Monster King because I got to be able to drink two of these White Dragon White Tea Monsters, which are discontinued. Uh, let's see. You know a guy? Brady's got the hook. No, he's got a I, plug. He knows okay, there's 40 guy. calories per can, so I can have two of these. Do 100. Yeah, no, okay, so fine. Uh, That'll so leave I'm going to do less than 100 calories that I drink. Can I stop you for a second? Yes. I see that can is unopened. It is unopened. Oh, shit. All right, guys. Here it comes. Here it comes. What, what is it? What's the. Is it ASMR? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was great. That was oh, really great. man. Oh, that was good. That oh, is good. That did it right there. I like it. You guys get... Is, oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. That one good? Hold on. Hold on. Is that the, is that the ones you were worried about? Is that, yeah. the, is that the ones you... Uh, this is the one I was worried about, and it's it's fine. So it was just one can. That's great. Monster, I'll have our address in the, the so, description. So throw it out there. We, we, hey, we are... I, I'm a big monster guy, and like I... I'm, so I'm... I'm I don't think I can drink mine on my diet because I want to keep under 10, uh, 10 carbs a day Yeah, and uh, uh, 10 grams of carbs. Is, that's what I'm going for. And really, that's pretty low. Like you, Most time, it's like 15 to 20 is yeah. what they allow you. But I know me, if I, go, if I shoot for 20, I'll end up at 30, and then I won't do right. it. And you'll be like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah. So, no, I'm going to I'm, I'm going for 10, and then I'm going to try to be close to that. Yeah. So if I, but, uh, but I think there's five in one of my monsters. Oh, so that's no. like the whole thing right there. It's zero calorie, but there is like five carbs from right. like uh, fruit juice that's mm-hmm. in it. There's a little fruit juice in it. So my uh, my second caveat outside of the, the drinking liquid and working out, so I guess my third caveat, right? No more food from windows. That's a that's a really good rule, like just in general. He stopped, yeah, he no. stopped stealing pies that were so, stolen. In so I'm days. not saying that I can't have whatever I want. <laughs> Don't take that blackberry cobbler. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is I'm removing the uh, seden- sedentary lifestyle. Yeah, I am no longer going to get food from windows. Well, how easy is it, like, dude? And you mentioned this, like, right? Like, I love going to Taco Bell. Yeah. And, like, I just ordered through the app now. Grayson showed me that. And I was just like, go yeah, through you the don't app. Even, you it's, don't even want to talk to the guy. Yeah, I just pull up. I'm like, <laughs> Tyler's either. here. But, how don't, but the guy knows me. And, I, and, like, and I'm like, damn, when the guy knows you at Taco Bell, you got a fucking problem. You yeah. feel special. Like, it makes you feel good. He's your second dealer. Yeah, he's the, <laughs> he's the plug. You're, he's like, you're like, hey, Larry, how's the kids? How's the wife? <laughs> I don't even know this cat's name. Yeah, I, 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 know I Man, I used to You suck as a consumer. Yeah. I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> They're also but, all children. But no, I'm just like, I, like if I'm going to eat McDonald's, like one, I shouldn't eat McDonald's if I'm on to lose weight. But second of all, if I'm going to eat McDonald's, I have to go inside the said McDonald's. And I can tell you right now, I can't remember the last time I was inside of a McDonald's. You know, it's They're crazy. Nice. McDonald's is crazy. I seen something on TikTok the other day and they were talking like, who eats their salads? Did you know there's more calories in one of their salads with dressing than what there is with a Big Mac and like a uh-huh. medium fry? I was unaware that they had salads yeah i remember the salad shakers like back in the 90s yeah. that oh, like yeah, cup the cups and you shake no, they, it up they actually they have, have like they have like bit. a whole salad menu oh wow but they're super fucking they're, they're high terrible calorie. for you yeah they're Wind, terrible. wendy's i think might be the same way well, like because like friend into the southwestern salad there it's supposed to be pretty good mm. well i mean i'm, I'm sure it is if good. i order it it'll be inside the I mean, restaurant it, because it, i'm no longer getting food from windows if i mean if a salad has that many calories it's got to be good right what what about uh like sonic so like car windows, so they're bringing it to Ooh, you. Is that even is that even an right. option? It's like, through. It is still through a window. So I'll be honest. If I want to lose weight, I can't really eat at Sonic either. <laughs> 
You could go so, out to the volleyball courts and probably order some. Sign. Yeah, that's true. Place of volleyball that would get you by. There you go. So like, no. so if you walk, okay, so sorry. If you, so so so, we're so, to take so, so yeah, you know, okay, stop stealing my thunder. Okay, okay, go so, ahead. So okay, so when I work out, so I'm not counting calories. I'm just gonna general theme. Like I'll look it up. Okay, cool, and I'll write it down. I'm not snacking. Okay. Three three meals a day. Period. No okay. snacking. Um. So the the smallest meal is the minimum amount of calories that I can burn in my workout. So if I eat 700 calories for breakfast and it's my smallest meal of the day, then I have to at least burn 700 calories when I'm working out. That's so that so I'm basically I'm I'm only eating 3 meals, I'm not snacking. I'm killing one of the meals with my workout. And no, no, no drinking calories. It, it, it doesn't sound like it's, it's well, not crazy because I didn't say I wasn't going to eat 3,500 calories. I just know myself. And I know that if I'm not getting it through a window, like I'm just not going to go to those fucking places. So like, like if I'm going in somewhere, I'm going to go in somewhere. And if I go in somewhere, I'm going to get something that's not fast food and not locked in with like a bunch of empty calories. Well, just know that all restaurants are bad because they cook extremely bad. That's why the restaurants are good is because they cook with extreme, like extreme fats, extreme MSGs, all that Mm, kind of stuff. And, uh, all the good stuff. Monosaccharide glutamates. (laughs) Mm. They are pretty good, actually. Fucking love uh, Chinese food, but not you, from a window. You can actually have those like on keto. MSG, I think, is keto friendly, but I could be wrong. Actually, I don't think MSG is friendly at all. Actually, to be I honest, I, I heard, heard that no, was a myth. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. It's really not that big of a deal. No, it was like anti Asian, like uh, propaganda back in the day. Oh, that's isn't that uh, always the way? Yeah, God. it's like weed. Fucking sucks. It's, all right, it's all right. Legal, but Grayson, yeah. Do you want to talk about your get healthy plan? Yeah, I I think of it as like kind of like you said the the minimizing that one meal. It's like an equation thing. Like if yeah, if you want to lose weight, you eat less and do or do more activity. Well, yeah. The only way to lose weight, like theoretically, is to burn more calories Absolutely. than what you intake. You yeah, and like I I was talking about earlier, I'm a bit nutrition agnostic, so I think that as long as you're getting some calories in your body and burning those, like it's probably okay like sure there's some vitamins and nutrients that you need to survive so you're like what if it, if you could eat it it's probably fine it's like probably that's fine. fine like yeah so you don't care like what it comes from or, right yeah exactly like, like you don't you don't care if it's like like paste or whatever yeah it, 100 so it, it literally if there was a, a a nutrition pill or paste or shake that i could just eat once during and i'd be have my nutrients for the day i would choose that See, I love food. I no, like food, no, food. Food's love... great, but like it's so inefficient. It sitting down and it takes so much time preparation. That's true. If if, if is that could, the, that's the episode. That's if, the uh, title. Eating food's it. great, but but eating so inefficient. <laughs> it, 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 it really it really is. I have given up on eating a bagel because it's just too much work to chew through that bagel. Wow. <laughs> It's just, I, I, you lost me on that. I'll one. tell you like, what, man. If there's I one thing bagels. that me and Tyler still have, like physical activity, like give us a fucking rack of ribs, right? Like, oh, no. <laughs> like or some I, chicken wings. Ribs are great. <laughs> w- wings are great. I love them. I can still like wings are still on keto, man. Anytime you want to go get some wings, you let me know. No, I've been looking for like the meal replacement shake. So like in the morning for breakfast, I'll do like a slim fast type powder or like Huel. There's a million different brands like. It's funny that they're all marketed towards different things. It's like protein for your workout and get all pumped up. It's like I've been looking at like keto friendly snacks, and uh, I think that like it's a, such a racket. Like oh my gosh, mm-hmm. it's like ten dollars for like a little thing of fucking like shitty fucking keto snacks that taste like shit. But yeah, <laughs> like you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I like I don't know if I would even go that route. So Grayson. It, it, we we talked about this in the mm-hmm. garage, and I and I think it is a funny concept that I do want to. So by the, the next four episodes, right, twenty eight yep. days from today. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll weigh myself. Like I was thinking about like documenting my uh, yeah, my weight that, loss on that, TikTok that, that, for the month. I don't need to lose weight. That's another. I'm I'm unhealthy. Yeah, but I'm not like no no. Oh, but, I don't oh, have excess oh Brandon's well, goal. And, and Brandon's that's, goal. And, that, and that's why that's where my goal comes in. Like how much do you weigh right now? I weigh one forty five. Okay, so I weigh three sixteen. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can lose weight, gain weight, whatever also, you want. I'm also five five. I'm I'm small. But at the end of the at the end of the month in twenty eight days, mm-hmm. 
I would like to drop down to where I weigh two Graysons. Okay. Now, right now, that's 290. I want to So my goal is to lose 26 pounds in 28 days. However... In 28 days. If you were to lose five pounds, for every pound you lose, I have to lose two. Right. Plus 26. I'm not going to probably do so much you could, to lose weight. I'm, no, that's fine. He's going to help that, you out please, with this. Actually, honestly, if you could get to 150, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> but but <laughs> that's, that, that is the goal. I might get a might get a scale so we could weigh in next time and see where we're at. All right. Try to weigh in this week. Keep us honest, Unacclaimers. And, uh, and we'll by put, the way, we'll put it on us. You like that? Oh, yeah. Unacclaimers. Hey, that's the listeners. Unacclaimers. Yes. So keep us honest, Unacclaimers. And uh, we'll put it on Facebook. I'll, I'll get it this week. I'll weigh when, when I go to the gym tomorrow. I'll weigh myself. I'll get it to you, and we'll put it on Facebook later this week on, on where we're at. Okay. Like the official way in. This sounds good. I'm, I'm excited about this. So it's gonna be good. You know what else I'm excited about? What's the that? rest of the fucking podcast. Man. Yeah, I know. Uh, so a bunch of our Marvel shows ended. But yeah, like right. the, like no, no movies notable to speak of, and we're trying to lay off politics, so. and we're trying to you know every once in a while, after about three straight political episodes, it's like man, we got to figure something, <laughs> something else out. We, do something we don't want to go too deep, so then we're like, let's turn to our viewers, right? And let's listen. Let's let's ask them what they want uh, us to talk about. Questions from the audience. Questions from the audience. And not just really the audience, one member of the audience. Uh, Harmony. Yeah, good friend of mine. Shout yeah. out Harmony. Yeah, shout out Harmony. She is. Uh, she was our first top fan. And she was the first one to give us positive feedback. And when I asked her a few weeks ago, I actually asked everybody a few weeks ago, some of you, and by some of you, I mean two of you answered, uh, about possible topics. She gave us a laundry list. And so we decided we were going to take a couple of them. Uh, I'm very excited about this, and so not to get too deep, we're going to talk about religion. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to get too deep. Yeah, we don't want to get. Let's keep it light. Let's talk about God and stuff. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Harmony yeah. says, religion. Are you religious, and how it affects policy and laws in our country? So I think we kind of talked about it before a little bit, and I'm not religious. I grew up in church, like I've mentioned before, like yeah. going to church camp and all that kind of shit. Yeah, and your <laughs> speedo, and your speedo. <coughs> yeah, speedo swim trunks, all that yeah. shit. Yeah, hell yeah. And uh, what denomination? By the way, like what? What were you? Uh, Southern Baptist. You were Southern Baptist. Yeah. Well, part part of it was I was Free Will Baptist, and then the other part I was Southern Baptist. I have to ask. Did anyone in your congregation speak in tongues? Holy shit, what happened in ESPN? That's an ESPN alert. <laughs> <laughs> I was Southern Baptist. We'll probably have to pay them Top some 10 kind of plays money of the week. Oh now. my God, I'm so sorry. That's like, what got us. Canceled. I had it turned down. All right, anyways. Uh, did any of them ever speak in tongues? Uh, see, there was... I think I remember one time, and like I was younger, and I was like, yeah, that's bullshit. Like mm-hmm. I didn't believe that at all. And then I went to this thing and it was called the choir, the fire. And like, uh, and, uh, the, I've been to one of those before. Like in like afterwards, it was the weird, one of the weirdest times of my life. And I remember talking to a friend of mine and he kind of felt, I feel like felt the same way. And we felt like we were supposed to like be really religious and do all this stuff. But like, I just, like, I just never had the same experience at the acquire the fire as what everybody else did. I never felt anything like come over me or felt really, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like no, all these I people, don't. After, all these people are doing, to me, you're are, doing these t- <laughs> are doing these tongue things and like doing all this, like, you know, like, like where they're just like feeling, you know, like, Oh my God. And, he, and any of them have oh snakes? My God. No, there there's snake no snakes. Hand, never, there's no snake. Handlers. No, never done any of that. Okay. been to revivals and stuff, you know, yeah. and like, also seen like a couple arguments in churches and stuff like that. And like, and for me, as I got older, I just like, I don't know, I got doing more reading and doing more history and like seeing how church works and like all this kind of stuff works. And I read the Bible when I was younger and I definitely seen the way that churches work now or definitely not the way the Bible says they should be working. And it, I feel like there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. I think a lot of these guys who are the preachers and like the, the leaders of these churches are not that great of people. Right. And they're really just after a lot of money. And so for me, like, I don't know what's out there. Like, I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Like, yeah. I don't think it's my job to know. And, like, I kind of like... So, so in, in a nutshell, I, I mean, you do believe there's something out there. I have no idea. Okay. No. Like, could there be? Like, I think that that's a possibility. Could there not be? 
also equally likely possibility. So, so are you an atheist? Uh, or are you an agnostic? I think I'm in between. <laughs> and uh, because and not an, an agnostic. I'm a, I'm a prove prove like whatever yeah. it is. Like I would that like w- to know. An, an agnostic would believe that. Yeah. So uh, okay, I guess it's, that's what a, I. Mean. There has no been there has been no burden of proof to prove the existence of a higher being, but that does not mean that there won't be in the future. Boom. And then uh, when it comes to uh, my takeaway from religion, a mm-hmm. lot of time religion, first eighteen years of my yeah. life, basically, the way that uh, I try to live my life is I think Jesus was a pretty cool dude, pretty nice guy. Yeah. So I will base my life, like my, like the way that I act and my actions similar to what he did. Okay. So you still yeah. like, you, like you're not sure if he's like God's only son or anything. But Don't you're, know. But you're like, that. he's, but, but the, the Bible, but the Bible speaks a, very highly of him. Jesus as a person in his deeds and stuff. Like, yeah. you know, like he, you know, some of the things that he taught in the Bible, things that he said specifically. Right. We're pretty cool. We're pretty cool. And cool, like and cool uh, and and you know that's fine with me. Like I'll I'll do that. Like be uh, be cool to one another. Yeah, be cool to one another. Feed people. It's when crazy. You, can. you know, it's, it's weird. John be, Lennon also right. had these same thoughts too. Jesus is Equally just a cool up there dude. with Jesus to me is John Lennon. Really like the way that that guy did <laughs> shit and like so like I, also I like, think like Captain America. What would America, what Steve would John Rogers. Lennon do? Steve Rogers, yeah, perfect he's, example. He's up there. I like the way that Steve Rogers is. I'm gonna try to do things like <laughs> Steve Rogers. Absolutely. That's the way that I live my life and my religion uh, is is based off of like uh, of just being a good person. It reminds me. <laughs> like so, I just think I just who wanna, would win in a fight between he, Jesus and Captain America, and it's like trick question. Captain America is <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, he did grow a beard. Yes, he, he did. did. Uh, that's funny. We both said that. Uh, Jeeks. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, but that's it. That's that's okay. that's my that's my whole thing with religion. Right. But we'll go back to the policy and laws thing because let's 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 get everybody's take. Grayson. Yeah, I'm kind of. I uh, if you got to classify it, I would say secular humanist is what I what I like. You're like gonna to have to explain what a secular humanist. So worldview. I've met some of our viewers. I. I, I even less on the secular part. I, like I'm, I'm just kind of a humanist. I think that humans are great, and there is great power in humanity. And treat everybody nice. And, and, and like, so, again, like, so no, no divine being. There's no supreme. Cer- being. There certainly could be, but I think that that is. I think that that our perception of that, from everything that we know, we are unable to define what that would even look like or what that would even be. So like I think that we couldn't even have a. A, a good concept of something to believe in. And so like we're, that. so we're over two because the question, and, and maybe I, I separate the two. Um, are you spiritual or are you religious? And the question was, is are you religious? Right. And, that's and the like, answer is no, you no. don't really have a religion and you don't either. Um, Tyler, no. Tyler doesn't either. So, so we're over two. Yeah. Well, guess what guys? We're over three. Yeah. No. Uh, you know, cause of course. Um, so, uh, me and religion have a long sticky past. Uh, it's 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 kind of crazy. So um, never felt anything in church. And in fact, like even at a young age, like they would talk, and I was like, I don't know that this is a good idea. Like I don't. Uh, I remember. Uh, I, did you guys ever, ever go to like uh, like youth group? Oh yeah. yeah. Like like you know like I was oh, in junior yeah. high or whatever. Anyways, they're like oh. You know, go get saved, go get saved. And so I was like went and it was like this church's uh, kitchen area. Mm -hmm. And he's like, takes me and it's just me and this like youth group preacher. And he starts like, okay, all you have to do is repeat after me. And like, I I was like, can I ask questions about the process? And he's like, yeah, of course. He kind of seemed annoyed, you know, because he had other people to save that day. He had a lot of people to save. That's, it's like, what are you asking questions that's for, that dude? Bullshit. Yeah, right. So, that's so I'm sitting there, and he he starts to talk, and I'm like, no, I'm out. He's like, what? And I'm like, no, I'm I'm out. This seems no. This does, something doesn't add up. Now I was too young to put out into the world what I thought was wrong about it. It just felt off. 
So that's kind of where I was. Um, religion, I, I've always been fascinated by religion. I was a religious oh, studies I, major in college. Oh, I did a religious studies in uh, in college. I did a class. I took several. I thought that that was going to be my major. I wanted to go to law school. It's really I'm doing a little backstory on right. on Brandon. I wanted to go to law school. Uh, they're like, you know, I started taking all these poli sci classes, and we all know my political affiliation. Well. In Southwest Missouri, you take poli sci classes. Even the liberal professors are conservative, right? right? So, like, I was like, man, I'm not doing well in these classes because I've never done well in classes where I didn't like the professor. I just couldn't find a professor I liked. And finally, one of the guidance counselors like, it's a millennial. A bunch that of, sounds like a millennial right there. You, you've <laughs> taken right, like, so he goes, you've taken a lot of like, like philosophy and religious studies classes. At that point, I'd taken probably five. And he's like, you know that law school does not care about pre-law or poli right. sci. All they want care about is your GPA and your LSAT score. And you've got straight A's in all these religious <laughs> classes. You need to be a religious studies major. So there I was. <laughs> so uh, no, but I, I've learned a lot about a, a lot of the world religions, and they all fascinate me. And you know, my learn my study of those is kind of what changed my own belief is like, you know, right. like learning about some of these other religions and learning a history of religion and stuff like that. When you start it, to get to it really is. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like, like none of this really had any kind of foothold. Like, you know, all this is like really just make believe and story. Like none of it has any kind of historical document or anything like that. Proven that any of this stuff happened. Cause that's yeah. like, can you, well, they all, all, all of the, but like, I mean, you all, got all holy texts do have parallels. Right. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, like I mean Christianity, you can take like four or five religions before Christianity started. For those of you that are Christian, I understand that it started with Adam and Eve and Christianity is a, a is a thing, but yeah. uh but it is what it is. I'm not apologizing um, for, Christians cuz there's people who <laughs> yeah. think that dinosaurs were around at the same time as Noah's yeah, Ark no, and I'm, shit. I'm I'm out on that. Like, but um but either way, uh and you you could take pieces of other religions and basically construct the Christian religion. Um, That's true. Yeah. They, it, for for the most part, like a lot of the the the, the books uh, in the Bible, but um, it, it, I I don't bash religion. I love religion actually. Um, I, and why? But when I say that, I don't mean like I love like you know Joel Osteen like taking everybody's money and fucking Kenneth Copeland and mega churches. Like, oh, and, Kenneth I'm Copeland! Not, I'm not. Saying, I gotta buy a private jet. I, like, yeah, God I, told me I had to. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Are those boots, Reverend? Are those boots gator skin? Nah, no. They, they... He's a young, <laughs> young Asian boy skin. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow, I didn't didn't see that one coming. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm not in love with that uh, per se. Have you like speaking? Of, I gotta go back. Kid a couple of Oh my god! Have you seen that YouTube video where he like looks fucking crazy? Yes. Like where you like, they're asking him something. He's like on this porch. He's like outside. You get his eyes just get like the dude looks like Satan. No, that guy, <laughs> that guy's got the evil. Like he's got the, 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 Oh man. You remember the new guy? Remember that movie? The new guy had the a evil eye. Oh yeah. yeah. Hit him with the, the evil crazy eye. eyes. Oh, the crazy eye. Like, <laughs> it was nuts. Like, okay. I mean, it was awful. So I'm an atheist. Like that's what I am. Like, I don't believe. So you don't in, believe don't, in anything? No, no. I think we only have one life in on this earth, and once you're done, the you know the worms will eat you. Uh, I do think that. Um, so what do you think happens when you die? I think you die. Like I think there's you just cease nothing. To be. See, I kind of think that, but a part of me thinks that like the human mind is really crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And like a part of me thinks that maybe when you die, your self consciousness don't even know it, and like you might live on in the deepest part. Of like you like like afterward like I right. know it sounds crazy. It, it, I'm so glad we didn't go deep. It's, the, it's, it's, it's I know idea, it sounds crazy. It, it's but, the idea of time being relative. Yeah. So yeah, like you might like live on actually in right. your own mind, and like and like even though you don't cease to exist in a physical form, like just your uh, thoughts, the mo- like you're the moment, living within your thoughts. The moment of death could be itself an infinity. Like yes. or or you like you escape to another plane of existence. I don't see like that's a little bit even more like your sci-fi. mind. Your, your mind goes to another 
I mean, almost right? like okay. almost like it's almost like I think that we'll find out. Like, and yeah, I don't I know. know. This is all like, uh, yeah, whatever, no, this is you know, we we, we like, like we're making our own religion at this point. Yeah, like so, like <laughs> absolutely. So, so like uh, you know, maybe, that's where the money's at. Maybe like uh, like <laughs> right. you know when you die, like it uh, like think about like when you sleep, right? You still dream, right? Mm-hmm. And like, and I know you're still alive. Like your brain is still active when you're sleeping, and that's why you're dreaming. And when you're dead, your brain don't you know function anymore right? right there's already altered states in our life that we know about yeah and, and maybe and death, death is, is another one a, that's just, that's just exactly what i'm trying state. to get to yeah so altered states is a great movie <laughs> i haven't seen that movie so since i just declared i'm atheist um how I'm dare not, you put a line in the stand i know right <laughs> um so let, let's talk about the fact because so one um there's a lot of people that are going to tell you they're atheist and some of them are not. See, I used to think that I was, but I am more. I not. That's why I didn't say I was atheist because right. I used to say I was. But deep down, I don't really. I, I know that I'm really not because I don't know. I don't. I don't fully believe that there is nothing after so, death. So, so like, uh, so you're going to meet a lot of atheists that used to be probably very religious, and something terrible happened to them. Yeah. And they lost their religion. They, 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 fell, they, they, fell, they, they lost, call it they, falling out of love with God. Yeah, they lost. They lost God. Um, God, you know, but but the thing is, is backsliding and, Christian, and I don't really want to go like, I don't want to go super deep. I am going to go super deep. Um, you can't be atheist if you hate God. Uh, yeah, that's true. No, no, because you, 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 you don't believe in God. Yeah, which so those aren't really atheists. Like, like right? What, what those are, are those are those are people that feel like their God failed them. But they're not atheists because yeah. you, you atheists the like literally the definition of atheist is you believe there's no god. They still, there's no deity. They believe in a god. He's just not out. Not all. Not power. on their side. Not all power. Right. Not on the side. Um. Or or they he lets bad things happen to good people and that's not okay with them. But you can't be atheist and hate God. Now that I feel for those people, yeah. right? Because they believed in something and they got a complete letdown. Yeah. Um. But they're not atheists. Uh, it's, I mean, they're just not. And, and I know that there's probably somebody that's like, I am an atheist. No, you're not. Cause if you're that angry, you're probably not, <laughs> you're probably not an atheist man. Um, but, uh, I am. And also if you're an atheist that like makes fun or bashes on religion, like you're not a very good atheist, right? Like yeah. that's not, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that uh, either. Bill Maher does that. Bill Maher bashes on religion. I'm not. I'm not. I'm honestly. I like. I really liked his movie, religious. Uh, Relig- religious. Yeah, religious. Yeah. So there, there are some. F- there. Okay. So that there are some funny moments, and there is some like pretty good stuff in there. Um. But there's also a lot of just just religion bashing. So right. here's here's well, here, here's why I said I feel for him because like uh, like the second part of this question is how religion affects. Yes. Yeah. yeah 100%. And so so. That's so, a good reason to bash it, especially when it's used politically. Well, so here, okay, so let's go, let's go pros and cons. Not, we're not making lists or anything, but like, no here's why 11. I, here's, yeah, top 11. <laughs> Cue it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so why do I love religion? Well, one, I think it's so, like, from a sociological perspective, like, religion has to exist. I think early on, Man figured out that other men can't tell men, other men what to do, and by men I mean men and women. They can't tell them what to do. Okay, like, well, I, I just pe- completely disagree with you. People do not like it when other people are telling them what to do. I completely disagree with you. You completely disagree with yep. me. Okay, go ahead. I think the peak of civilization that um, we have to look forward to would be the Star Trek future. So the future that's in Star Trek is there is no religion, and uh, I mean. I guess you could. I guess there would be religion, but it's definitely not any kind of part of any kind of society, and definitely makes no rules whatsoever. And everyone gets taken care of. They're very like uh, socialist. Says there is no money. Everybody works to better themselves and to better the human race. Okay, so you don't disagree with me because I'm talking about when religion first started, and you're talking about a utopia where there is no religion. Yeah, but, uh, but years and years and years and years and light years. Yeah, but you future. said that you think that society had to have religion. They had to. They had to have religion. Oh, I don't think so. So the Rome was not built on, on uh, religion at all. Rome had religion, but it was not part of the government, and it was not part of any kind of decision-making or looked upon as being a part of decision-making with laws and stuff in Rome. Okay, so Rome had its own, like, so Rome was a polytheistic 
society. Yes, they were very much about Rome, and, and like that's what they were no, worshiped. Well, they, they, had, they, had, until, they had many gods until they switched over and became the Catholics. Like so, then it, then the, the power the, the Greeks were also a polytheistic yeah. society, and the Greeks had a, a had a great. But government. Rome first built itself with many gods. They weren't they weren't Christian, and then went around and conquered and, and did all that. So so. When I say that that society needs religion, um, what I'm what I'm saying is is that one of the Ten Commandments is "Thou shall not kill." Yeah, but that was a rule before we even. If you go back, like there there was that was a rule before the Ten Commandments was a thing because the Ten Commandments didn't even get printed until pff, what was it thirteen thirteen hundred A.D. So I mean, like. Like as far as anybody knew, it was all just hearsay on a lot of these Ten Commandments. I bet you that the like the world knows them now, but I bet you there is a big, big. Uh, I bet you there's a long time before like everybody in the world even heard of the Ten Commandments. I bet you it was probably 1900 in the 1900s before everyone in the world knew what the but Ten like, Commandments yeah, like were. The pharaohs had a religion, like the Egyptians. Yeah, the the Sumerian, like Sumerians were like first. First civilization, yeah, and almost had, had almost, a almost every one of the one of them had a tenant that's thou shall not kill, mm-hmm. right? Um, almost every single one of them. And the fact of the matter is, is that there so, are people on this earth that only so. see. I, I, I gotta disagree I, I, with I, you again. So like, I, I just, that's like, not the way that thinking, the. The, the, uh, that the that Persians, I don't know how you can disagree with a point that you haven't let me make in twenty minutes, but like I haven't, you haven't let me get one point out. I said, "Thou shalt not kill." You went on okay. a five minute tangent. The first thing you said though was that society needs religion. Had. Yes, but and that but, but is you didn't what I'm let arguing. me explain why I thought that. I, like, you still don't know why I think that. Well, I'm telling you that that's not the case at all. <laughs> because they needed some like, type of boogeyman to impose rules to keep everybody from eating each other. I, yeah, yes. but I would actually say. That that is the downfall right. of and, our society, and, I think, and that, I think that religion has held us back. I think those rules probably were ingrained, even like in tribe, like a tribal mentality, like early people that maybe didn't necessarily have so a language. Like so, I think that was a don't. This person is maybe a resource if you that go, we need. So there is a really good chance that the reason that Muslims and, and Jewish people don't eat pigs is because there were physicians that said, we got to figure out a way to get these people to stop eating pigs. So what happened is is they would have shitting fields, right? Like they didn't call them shitting fields, but there's a field in the middle of the town that everybody shits in. And then the pigs would come and they would eat on those fields. They mm-hmm. basically have pigs that just man these fields yeah. and ate everybody's shit, right? So that's why they became unclean. right? And so if you ate them, you got sick and you died, Right. And so, it, but but people wouldn't stop eating them. But that, that's like, and so and so society said that, that if you won't stop eating them because we tell you to, God tells you that they're unclean and you can't eat them. And somehow it stuck. Like I, I'm I'm convinced of this. Uh, that's like a feud, but it's super, feudal society. But it then. was very important for the benefit of their society um, that somehow we get people to stop eating the shit pigs. Right now, pigs aren't like that anymore. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. pigs eat shit, but uh, what I'm saying is, is that it's not shitting fields. Fair. You don't die if you eat pigs. Don't I just talked a, about how much I love bacon with a cloven foot. So uh, that's, I mean, so so that that would be one of it. There are people that literally do good things and are good people because they want to get into heaven. Absolutely, and it's not because they're actually like. And, and if they didn't have religion to cling to, they wouldn't do. So these what's funny things. is, whenever I hear someone say that, that immediately makes me think you're not actually a good person. Then you're just you're trying to avoid a punishment. <laughs> exactly, you're not trying to do the right thing. But there are people like that. you're trying to avoid a paddle. And not all Christians are like that. I, I I don't. I really. This is not about bashing religion. I think it, that there is a. I think that the majority of the world I follows think, six major world religions. And I say I think that. That's a fact. I think religion is a pretty like new world construct. Yes. I would say within very like, much the past so. like, and like, two, and, maybe three, and let's, in the, 400 years. Let's really break it down. Because like what I, I think, you said when you, so you said society had to have religion to move forward, right? And like I just like strongly disagree with you. 
because the biggest empires of the of the old time were the Persians, the Mongols, and the Romans. And both of those had zero religions. The Mongols had absolutely none. Mongols. Are you about Mong- the Mong- Mongols. Mongols. Yeah, Mongols. Mongrel is tearing up the city. Mong. Yeah, yeah. They did some of that. Yeah, yeah. Mongols. The Mongols, the Persians. And like the the Persians had a religion, but they believed in the living God, mm-hmm. and like yeah. you know, like uh, so, like that was you know they believed that their king was a god, right? So like that's also, like, that's the, weird. But and same with that's kind of Egyptian religions as well too. Um, the Romans had they had religion, yeah, Ro- they, they Roman were, gods, yes, and uh, the, that they like did. Uh, there was many, 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 many temples built. On behalf of the of the Roman gods yeah. and the Greek gods, but again, the difference is is it did not have the same preference in society as what religion does. Really, since the Roman Catholic Church, like the Roman, once the Roman Catholic Church came to power, like the Roman, like there was no yeah. church, there was no religion that had as much power than what the Roman Catholic Church had. Beside maybe like uh, the the Israel, like in Israel, a lot of the societies uh, had the god king idea as well that their ruler was divine well even anglo-saxons right, had yeah, that right. and like vikings yeah. had that and like uh, i was thinking like, like aztec mayans oh yeah for but, sure yeah you're 100 yeah. percent every, right. they every think, single one of they these think king george that was that, that, that you've talked about had an uber amount of religion but the but the but the difference is though the, the main difference is, is what I'm trying to point out. My point, if you let me make it, which you have let me make in 20 minutes. I still haven't made my point. Go ahead. <laughs> is that these religions were not dictating society. When Roman Catholic Church came in, they really started making all the rules. And they started becoming even more powerful than the God Kings that God had so far, you know, like, you know, that the King of England. It was had, more spirituality. Yeah. And, and that's less in, of a religion. And, and uh, very much so, like, uh, very, very much so. And like, even the, the king was, you know, appointed by God and the Roman Church appointed the king. Right? Like, that's the way a lot of that stuff was done, believe it or not. There wasn't a lot of, like... There was a lot of like kings and their sons, and their sons get handed down. But there was also a lot. This guy was a king, and then his son wasn't good enough, and the church was like, "Fuck you, dude! Your uncle's getting it, or like you know, right. your cousin's gonna be the fucking king. Like you, you suck, so you're not gonna get it." And the church said so. So go fuck yourself. Like so, like they're the ones who made all the power and stuff. We got then, I, like I'm bringing that up because we got a lot of that here, and I fucking hate that shit. Like, so I, I really can't fucking stand it. And I don't think that any kind of church needs to be involved in any kind of decision making of government or leadership in society. No, it shouldn't be. Yeah. So that that's why I'm arguing your point that you had to have religion in society. I think that if the, the Catholic Church didn't have the printing press come around and where everybody got Bibles, I think that ever the fact that like the printing press come around right around the same time, I think... It, Catholic Church was it was in power and it was pretty good. It had been in power for like 150 years, about 200 years by the time the printing press came around. And then when the printing press actually was made, that's when every like everybody got Bibles and like it just right. become a whole thing. And like, like so, and so I, I I agree with you about the separation of church and state. Actually, all the things that 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 have been the church overstepping its bounds, I agree with you. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, I am definitely not trying to say that religion has overstepped its bounds. Uh, Almost every war that's ever been has been because of religion. Like almost every single war has been about religion. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to declare a thumb war. Yeah, no, I'm not. I I almost feel like it's weird because I feel like I'm defending myself from Tyler, but I don't. I don't disagree with like. Then why? Then why did you say that? Because from a sociological perspective, doesn't mean in government. It doesn't have to be in government. Separation of church and state can exist, and the idea of religion can also exist. The idea that people like need a higher power to tell them what to do. And but the, the, the idea that people don't trust government and don't trust other men, I, I and guess, they also the idea that men can be corrupt. So it's the like, social contract. It, it is exactly that. I guess the idea my, that we want everyone to do the best, the idea that everyone has a moral compass and everyone's points north is not a thing. That is not, that is not, not everybody are good people. There are people that have to have a higher power to cling to 
in order to do good deeds. Like, it's just part of it. Somebody has to tell them how to be a good person. That's part of it. Like, I, and so I, I think that from a standpoint of society, that is why religion is necessary. See, there are people that guess, are religious that are good people. I guess I just disagree. And they'd probably be good people I, without religion. I, I guess that that's, that's what I'm thinking. I think that like society could tell these people how to be a good person without religion. And I think that people use religion to get by without being a good person. It's also they go, they like, oh, I go to church so yeah, I could no, be a fucking asshole. People, people the, are corrupt. It's also the prevalent religion that we tend to deal with. What if it was like a hedonist religion that was like, do what do whatever you want. Well, eat whatever you want. There, the, I mean, and so that that was the societal norm that, that we men had. have entrusted other men since the beginning of man. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's what so we did. like so so the idea that like society could tell people how to be good people, like we're seeing that now. Mm-hmm. Like, there, like there is a large portion of our country that doesn't trust government. Yeah, because it's ran by people that are corrupt. How many times have you heard? The guy make the joke where he's like, "Ah, they're both crooks. Yeah, Republicans, Democrats, they're all crooks. They're all crooks. Like that guy needs to listen to Jesus because he's not going to listen to any uh, dudes. See, I I disagree. Well, I yeah, disagree I, with you. I, I think that I think that's that's. I think that person makes just as many moral yeah, exceptions. I think that that's part religion, of the problem. That, that that they're like what you said about I guess, an, I guess about the problem with that no with longer. that analogy is I'm using the micro and I'm really I'm saying this in the macro. Yeah, I think it's kind of to your point. A lot of the things that you're thinking of, those people aren't religious. They think they're religious, but they're not. Kind of like how you said they're those people aren't atheists because they're angry at God. Yeah, but those people wouldn't all come together and get told what they need to do to be good people if religion didn't exist. But then there's plenty of them that come together and listen to all I of that disagree. and then still don't do the good I thing. I think that if religion wasn't around, I think the society would tell people how to be a good person. And like I think that like it would be done on a societal basis instead of being done on like oh you have to be you have to divert yourself to this higher power to be able to be a good person when really like if you don't believe in God, then you know that that's bullshit and you're a good person because you're doing it out of the basis of your own self. Yeah. No, that's the, that, that's why God created atheists. So like, there's I, a, there's a, there's a, there's a story about that like, where the, where a student is getting kind of being a smart aleck with uh, a religious teacher. And he's like, if God created everything, why would he create atheists? And the teacher's like, no, it's, it's 100% like one of the best lessons that God can give you. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Like, that's crazy. Oh, they, good they, person. they don't believe in God. And he's like, yeah, they don't believe in God, which means whenever they visit someone who's sick, whenever they help anyone in need, they're not doing it because of a divine, like a divine per- entity told them to. They're doing it because they're a good person. They're showing true compassion. Um, you can learn a lot from an atheist. If you see someone in trouble, your first thought shouldn't be, like, I hope God helps you. For just a minute, you should pretend you're an atheist and there is no God. And you go, I'll help you. And that's how you know true compassion. And that's how you know how to, how, how to do good things. You know, I'll be real honest. If that would have been told to me, I might still been going to church. But there ain't nobody in church who believes that right there, what you no, said. No, no, it's, that's absolutely true. Like, uh, atheist is a dirty word. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, is anything that I've ever done that was good isn't because... I mean, anything I've done that's good now in counterspec, shit that I've done in my past that's shady, also the same Some deal. of the like, best things I, 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 I did that with no fear of going to hell. I only have one life to live in my, in my opinion. And so I'm going to live it. Uh, so that, that, that's where I'm at. But, that, but you're, you're right. Like, nobody, nobody no, in church is saying that. Nobody in church is saying that's, that. But, but honestly, it makes all the sense in the world. It should. Like, even yeah. if I'm wrong and there is a divine, like, being and there is, if if, if Christians are 100% right and God's real and blah, 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 um, he still created me. Still did a lot of good things not believe in him. I'm not trying to hedge my bet or anything, but I get the feeling that I'm going north. <laughs> so, anyways, back uh, policy and laws. I'm obviously, I'm a huge... Uh, Separation of church and state, right? Like the freedom of religion. Well, separation of church and state. And I'm, I'm bi- I, that is a, that is a big thing for me. I also think that like, and like, 
I guess this is just shit on churches time. I cannot stand churches. I hate the fact that like Joel Osteen. All churches? Yeah. Really? I just, there's not, like I've seen little ones like from my hometown and like stuff like that. And they all have, they all have ambitions. And like, I think a church with ambitions, it cannot do what a church says like is supposed to be done, uh, which is outlined in the Bible. Well, like the, the Bible says that the church is supposed to take care of all the homeless people. And like, you don't, you have like, you know, churches like Joel Olstein who wouldn't open his church whenever people were flooding in his own fucking city. Like, so it's just like that guy is a prick. And like but, most churches are like that on a smaller level. Like they're not letting any homeless guy in there at night. Like, no, oh, we got to watch them. They might steal the speaker or something like that. I remember somebody said that they're like, Oh, we got to lock the church. Somebody come in here and steal it. And I'm like, well, what if somebody needs to get in out of the cold? And they're basically like, well, we just go, somebody to steal it. We don't want to, you know, our stuff stolen. And it's like, well, Ain't that why society, ain't, that's the society we live in. Ain't, ain't that why Jesus said you weren't supposed to have all these like you know false idols and all this like right. like all this shit? But yet you know the Catholic Church has a whole bunch of gold and all this like fancy fucking crosses and like all this kind of fancy shit that's worth tons of money. I just the they re- want all your money. Just the reason that I don't particularly care for separation of church and state is because as a country um, we're a melting pot. Right, and that seems really should have multi like that yeah. seems, but but there's but every world like every major religion is represented in our country, and so the idea that we put laws predicated on Christian religion um, seems really really foreign to me. We're not a Christian country. It never was supposed to be. We, and, were, we were always supposed to have freedom of religion. And I want to I want to preface this too. By the way, I do not not like you if you are religious like you know like i still like i if you want to be if you want to be christian if you want to be muslim if you want to be jewish if you yeah, want to be uh, mormon for whatever reason why like i like that's <laughs> fine with me like sure if that floats your boat that's completely right. fine but one thing underwear. one thing yeah, do a little soak you know <laughs> but uh one thing that uh uh that i'll <laughs> that i'll say is uh, don't be trying to force your fucking ideology on me. It's part of their. Like, that's part of it. You know, except for Jews, mission, mission except works. for the Jews. I tell you what, Ju- the Jewish religion is probably my favorite because they're not trying to recruit anybody. Yeah, like, it's actually really, it's they, really it's hard to convert. <laughs> really hard to get in there, and the uh, seem pretty, pretty selective. Sure. But uh, but yeah, like I, I'm not gonna pay the cost to get in there. Also. Like, you know, like all the different, all the different works, like the Quran, the Bible, those are like beautiful books to read. Like they're like, they have some really nice stuff in there and there's like good learning stuff in all of them. Even if you're not religious, you could read those and probably come out with something out of them that's, uh, that's, that, you know, is good. But so there's another, you like my stories. My yeah. stories, my stories yeah, yeah. are fun, right? There's Story another, time. There's an, there's another one that explains in my eyes, the world religion and it has to do with house flies. And so uh, there's three house flies in a, in a in a house, right? And every day at the same time they come and they meet in the living room. And the living room's blinds are always shut, but other rooms those those blinds are open. And so there's uh, one fly that likes to fly into the kitchen, and he looks out the back kitchen window and he sees the backyard. And there's another fly that likes to go to the bathroom because flies like to go to right, the bathroom right, right. because flies like shit. Yeah. But he goes to the bathroom and he goes and it's at the side of the house and he looks out and, and he kind of flicks against the window in the bathroom. You know, that, that sound that's fucking annoying. Right. Where it's between the, the blinds. Zzz, zzz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there's another fly that, that, that flies, flies over uh, into the bedroom and, it, and in that, that window faces the front yard. And so all three flies will meet in the living room. Well, finally, one of them goes, hey, what do you guys do when we're not in the living room together? And they go, oh, we dream of going outside. And he's like, oh, my gosh, you too? And they're like, yeah. It's like, you you want to go out there where there's a, a big, like, Lots of grass, and the dog goes back there, and there's a little dog kennel, and there's a trampoline, and the kids go out there, and they jump on the trampoline, and like that's where I want to go. And they're like, no, what are you talking about? 
Now we want to go outside. Uh, what you're talking about, I have no idea. And they're like, yeah, no, I want to go out where the cars come in and there's a big like asphalt trail and there's lots of cars and I always see people walking their dogs down this thing they call a sidewalk and I'm just thinking man I'd really like to get it me some of that dog poop right because yeah. flies like yeah, shit yeah. I, get, I see where right? this is going so yeah. they're, they're like that's that's freaking great and so the two flies that thought they were on the same page the, the other one looks at him and goes dude what are you talking about like are you guys both smoking like no outside is where the sun rises and it's out there on the side of the building. There's the hum of the air conditioner. There's a big privacy fence. I've always wanted to see what was on the other side of that privacy fence. Maybe the garbage is over I, there. I th- yeah, man, I think there might be. Yeah. Right. So that's outside. Yeah. That's you guys utopia. Are all nuts. Like that's what outside is. Yeah. And so outside is heaven. obviously house flies outside is everybody's after death. Is, is he literally stealing the end of my story? Yeah. <laughs> well, that story is actually Socrates's uh, allegory of a cave. Yeah. Uh, th- it gets told several different ways. There's yeah. also blind men that wash elephants and it's, it's and all explain the... what an elephant feels so fin- like. Finish right? it out. Finish it out. So, so they, they only live for three days. So three days later, all three flies die. They fly. Their souls float above the house, and then they realize that even though all three of them knew exactly what outside was, it turns out they were all right. And they're all going to the same and place. And the whole yeah. idea was <laughs> is there's many ways to get to heaven. There's and, not just one way to get to mm-hmm. heaven. So nobody, if anybody tells you that there's only one track to get there, they're wrong. They're narrow-minded. They have a narrow focus. Then you get their blinders off, and that you know what that 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 and yes, you're you're absolutely right. Say that again as what Socrates is what allegory of a cave. Allegory yes. of a cave That's or interesting. the cave. There's also blind people that are cleaning an elephant. There's I mean there's there, there's all sorts of ways to get there, but the I, the idea being that the i that that i there's six major world religions, and. Most of them believe that the other five aren't getting to where they're right. trying the, to get to. The correct answer was Mormon. The correct <laughs> answer was Mormon. Sorry, everybody. Please see the line down here. Oh. All Mormons here. Uh, we'll send you guys. And I to actually hell. like like during the winter, like their their long underwear is, seems super it, warm, and I also think it def- protects you from knife wounds. And again, everybody loves a good soap. I always like the joke. Uh, St. Peter's just talking to Jesus up in heaven and St. Peter's been having a bad day and he's like, Jesus, do you ever think it just like ended it all? And Jesus is like, well, sometimes, but what if this is all there is? <laughs> I just like, that's a good anti-joke. I, I, I love that joke. <laughs> I <do> too. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I was like blown away. I'm like, whoa, that's kind of great. Right. Uh, what if this is all there is? Like, you don't even fucking know. Like, that's Hey, guys. Right. Like, not that I'm trying to steer away from religion because we wanted to not get super deep, but I just got a message. Yeah. And I'm super excited about it. But uh, Mr. Patrick Shute from the Cinescrewed podcast based out of here in Springfield just invited the Critically Unacclaimed podcast, the entire podcast, that's right. Even you, Grayson. Whoa. They don't let me <laughs> out. They don't let me out much. Uh, to come and do a guest. Oh, possible, do possible a, do, cameo. Huh? Yes. No, nice. they want us to help guest host. They yeah. want us to do the whole podcast. So. Very cool. Oh. Very excited about that. We're looking at that late May. I actually have the date, but I'm going to share it we'll with you guys We'll get some more, more air. info. Very very cool. podcast. Those guys are pretty good. It's no, a good podcast. Very, very, I checked very it out excited. the other day when you sent it to me. So we're going to do one more harmonies. Let's do it. What, which one we got? Oh, this one. I, I liked this one. I think this one's going to be more funny. And again, this is a conversation, right? So, like, we're just talking, right? And one of the things that I want to say is, like, if you disagree or agree or if there's anything that you want to say, throw it in Facebook. Go to our Facebook, you know, Critically in Acclaim. We're opening up the floodgates to a lot of stuff. I'm interested. <laughs> I, I, like, that's one of the reasons I like doing this podcast. I wanted to kind of see what right, other people thought of stuff that I really cared about. Well, and uh, and we're just not getting out that. Out of so. 2,500 <laughs> people on our Facebook, if any of <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's at least 50 Mormons that are just really pissed right now. Uh, not now, but on Wednesday when we... Uh, <laughs> have, you, have you ever met a Mormon? I don't think they get pissed. I've met a Mormon. They're pretty cool. They're chill people. Mormons are chill people. 
That like might they're, be the, fr- they're friend. Like that, know, that might be the title. I don't know about. I don't know about that. There's, an, know there's an episode that. about South Park on South Park that they talk about. Like the the oh. and the big moral of the story is like if they want to be like weird and like spend time with their family and do all that stuff. I guess sure. that's fine. They're not hurting Again, anybody. I, I, they're really I, nice people. They're, I don't hate any religions at all. Just don't push your shit on me. No, I agree. Like, or my society. Or my society. So you know what else you think Harmony is going to be happy with our religious conversation? I hope she is. I hope so. Yeah, sure. So the next one that she asked about. I hope about, everybody is. I like we do a podcast. I hope everybody likes it and enjoys <laughs> Like, <laughs> Like, subscribes, follows, follows, Podbean, you know, we're Spotify, on YouTube, Spotify, Pandora. Plug, little shameless plugs here in the middle. Yeah, that's like, great. That's maybe great. people who are listening might, might you know, we do it at the end. And hey, Tyler. Nothing, nothing gets done. Yeah. Did your did you learn how to do your taxes in high school? No. Did you, Grayson? Did they teach you how to do taxes like, in high school? When I was in high school aged, I did learn how to do my taxes. Yeah. Not from anybody at high school. Yeah, because they didn't teach that no, in class. they did not. Yeah, school's pretty much fucked anymore. And I know that was the topic that Harmony That's, had. That is the topic. It's why it, it was basically how uh, general education, I'm going to go with high school because that's where you learn a lot of life lessons, but general education does not actually prepare you for the real world. And, and, and like kind of just like I learned about Greek mythology in high school, but they did not teach me how to write a, a, a proper resume or uh, do any kind of mock interviews, job interviews with me. I don't, uh, honestly, I didn't, didn't learn to do my taxes. I don't think I learned shit in high school. Like, you know what I learned? I learned how to. <laughs> I learned how to read and write in high school. I learned. I learned how to. I, you know. You know what's crazy? What? I didn't learn how to write until I was in probably sophomore in high school. You're shitting me. Like I knew how to write, but like I'm still not a very good speller. But like I learned punctuation and how to do all that kind of stuff. And then I really learned it whenever I was like 25 and went to college. So. Eighth grade Tyler was just writing all like all like oh it'd be all the, messed like up. the like, first letter is capital and then it's just one long run on sentence. No, I would I would I was pretty good. I guess to say <laughs> I like threw I, a comma in. I, I was okay, but I feel like I really learned how to like really uh, punctuate, learned all the different punctuations, like how to use them and stuff like that. Uh, in like probably sophomore in high school. Holy shit! Yeah, that's late. Yeah, Buffalo. but here's it's, the thing. I think I was a fairly decent writer and I'm like, kind of my class. <laughs> like I, I wasn't the worst. And so like, there was a lot of people who just couldn't do shit. And like, I just, so it, it's crazy to me that in, in this society, um, we don't get taught like, can I tell you what I do think you learned in high school? What did, what did you learn in high school? How to stand in a line, how to fall in line. Yeah. How to you know be on time? Like, so did you do the square dance lesson freshman PE? Nope. Did you didn't have to do the square dancing? Grayson, did you have to learn to square dance in high school? Uh, not in high school, in elementary we did. But 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 yeah, there's absolutely. still so, it was something so, we did. So you know how to dosey do? Not anymore. But it was something that we we spent in one promenade. <laughs> <laughs> we did we did one lesson in elementary and PE. We cl- they cleared out the lunchroom and we went. And- we did we did uh, it was like three class periods in I believe it was my ninth grade year physical education. We learned how to square dance. No, my, so I kind of know how to square dance. My you PE know what teacher I, thought it was stupid at the time. And it's like, oh we're, yeah, we're no, not it's, doing that. It, it's super ignorant. I mean, like, who the fuck needs to know how to square dance? But you know what they didn't teach me? Like how to fill dress a wound. <laughs> how to fill <laughs> Sure, basic first aid. No, how I didn't to balance learn. a checkbook. How to balance a checkbook? Nope. No, nope. uh, have no idea how to balance. The, what well, the I mean, I did what the stock market was and the importance of investing and saving Credit. money. Yeah. The difference um, of uh, um, an investment and uh, and a loan mm-hmm. and talking uh, about credit and your need for credit. The, how, how, how to how, manage how that. credit that, how, works. How, how, how interest like, in credit cards work mm-hmm. and oh. like how debt works and like that that didn't get taught. And even like you know like the might have got glossed over. 
No. I might have been. I, I took a so consumer wild, math class like and the, still didn't get shown any of that shit. I got shown how to figure interest. Like, oh, this is how you would figure interest, like in a math problem. I, but I they did, didn't put that in any kind of real world scenario. I yeah. took home economics in middle school. and Because I, 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 I took some. I went to elementary and middle school in Arkansas. And then I went to middle and high school in Missouri. And so I took home economics twice. I took it once in Arkansas. We never did any of the, like, the check balancing. But we did do some, like, pretty useful, like wiring a, a, a outlet testing polarity uh how to make a meal oh, you, read a recipe you had, to take, how to, a, how to could, you had to take like a construction class at my school to get any kind of that the only time that you got any kind of real world knowledge is for juniors and seniors they had a votech education which i'm sure they probably have now i think it's right. at otc yeah in mm-hmm. uh, high school and i i took it can, one semester i did the auto mechanics can a, can a prereq like uh, just the basic automotive like Every high schooler going out of high school should know how to change their own oil. Absolutely. Like that's just that that's just part of it. It's something that everybody has to do. Also, everyone that goes into high school should or change should, shouldn't tire. just be sat down, but there needs to be a whole college life like literal college life. Mm-hmm. Managing your time, managing yeah. your budget. But also explaining student loans and how <laughs> oh, they work. Right. And how you can never get rid of them. So and what do you, you want to be when you grow up? It's What's so, the average salary of what you want to be when you grow up? Financial aid thing is such uh, such an so intriguing crazy. problem because to understand college financial aid, you need like a master's degree and work in the industry for like five years, and then you, we expect high school students to just know everything there is to know about student loans and all loans and like, grants and. Uh, scholarships, it's the, all of that. Yeah, so I don't need an hour long like person just in one hour to tell me what happens if I flunk out of college and I took a Pell Grant. Right. Like I need a whole semester in high school. Seriously. I need to go in prepared. You but no, really? we don't do that. We learn to fucking square dance and stand in line and and learn about uh, and learn about and, and don't get me wrong, Greek mythology is really interesting. They can teach that in college. I can take it as one of my philosophy classes. Right. I don't think history is bad in high school. I think history is good. No, of course good. not. The, uh, here's, but here's the problem. They don't teach the right history. Yeah, like, think, they teach I, a I, very skewed version of history. I think history they leave a lot of stuff out. Because it, it's it's American exceptionalism history. Yeah. It's not necessarily very much. Like, well, and, and honestly, I, I would love... Like, I, I know that they teach civics. I know because I took that class. Right. I'm telling you, when... Like thirty percent of the country can't tell you what the three branches of government are, mm-hmm. then there's a problem with our general education. That blows my mind, though. It's right. just like I learned that in eighth grade. I learned about right. the Constitution in eighth grade, I'll, but I had a really great teacher. Funny fact: he was a, he's a preacher at the church that I, <laughs> that I go to. There but is, uh, he he was a great teacher, uh, and uh, I'm not going to name his name or anything, but uh, but he knows who he is, and he he was awesome. So so I I just. I took a lot of honors classes, and it was really is, n- still nothing substantial. Nothing. Well, let's be let's to be learn honest. about life. How often do you use trigonometry in your day to day life? Bio uh, or biology? It, it's weird. Biology, not so much. There are some like weird. Do science you do, shit that do I you use. sign a lot? Do you cosign? Are you a tangent guy? Ke- I'm, do, I'm, do I'm big do, into logarithms. Do you do a lot of chem? A lot of chemical stuff. I do like, tons and tons of chemical stuff. That would chem- <laughs> no chemistry is my chemistry is my least favorite one. Uh, it's, well, so, did you just die? Say like, man, if only I knew the anatomy of this frog, right. I could save his life. No, it's in, those how, classes how need to be those. electives. Um, <laughs> All I'm saying is I that it's, it's, I, it's, go it's, ahead, it's go exposure. Ahead, it, those classes get people exposed to what science is all about, and then they can go decide if they want careers in that. Do you need to take chem? One through three in high school, no. Do, like, well, the reason I brought up trigonometry the, is that there, it, it, for what I remember of high school, and obviously high school's probably changed a bit. Right. Like I'm 36, right? So I've almost been out of high school longer than I was in, the, in school, right? Feel that. Uh, total. Uh, but the reason I brought up trigonometry and I bring up geometry mm-hmm. and stuff, it's not stuff I use on a daily basis. But I am a salesman in sales margin and commission percentage right. and stuff that like would be in mind. Also stuff that would help you out like mm-hmm. a, a in lot life. in the real world. It, it is like that kind of, I feel like that got glossed over. Yeah. All of that math stuff is things 
that you don't need to know about, but it is things that happens in your everyday life. Like yeah, no, of course. Th- th- just driving your car down the street. All of, all of those math terms come into play. So it's, it's kind of fascinating to know that if you wanted to, you could calculate the circumference of the Earth using how shadows are falling. I use day. the Pythagorean theorem. I use that actually quite a bit. I, I, I used it the other day, mm-hmm. and it just blew my Windows and Walls associate, like, mind. Right. That's she so was like, I get, like, I know the width and the length of this blind. But what's, what's the but, diagonal? But what's the diagonal? They want the diagonal. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? And I was like, use the Pythagorean theory. And, a squared and plus she goes, B squared yeah. equals C squared. <laughs> And, but the thing is, is that's the that may be the very first time that I've ever used right. the Pythagorean I, theorem. I, I do. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like, it, <laughs> it's the hypotenuse of a, a look, right triangle. Look, what's the distance between my elbow and my hand? This hand and this elbow. Ninety degrees. No, but like, what's the distance? Like, how long is that that line? So, yeah, you could actually you figure, can figure it out based on you can figure out the length the, of this arm and this arm. You can figure out the the height and width of your television using the diagonal, and either like and it's funny because TVs TVs use diagonal, use diagonal because that's <laughs> longer, mm-hmm. right? right? So it seems more impressive. No one wants to know that it's like a sixteen by nine inch television. No, when, they want to know say that yeah. it's a whatever. Yes, I'm not doing but that. But a, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. No, but that I, that, I that might be the most intricate geometry that I've used um, since I've been out. But I use statistics. This podcast is the most geometry I've used <laughs> since I've been out. I use some of that, but I do some 3D like part di- like. You're in design. a field. Yeah, I, I do some of that. You, so you like you're the wrong person to talk to. Yeah, Are you? I'm so you, in you're the not the you're not math. the norm. I'm, my, name, my name well, is Well, I use normal. math all the time, but I just try to do money. You're at a banker. Same, yeah, no, exactly. At the and same like, time, I know, and, I know a lot of welders that know some crazy complex math stuff, but couldn't sit down and write it down on a blackboard. Or no, whiteboard. That's, uh, it's, they would be like, well, well yeah, you it, just need to have it cut at this angle. And then you go watch them with the torch, and it's like you're never going to. It's, it's hilarious. Then, that's just angles, together. though. And like those are usually pretty standard. They're 45 or 90. And so like, but a, it's, you a, pretty a much physicist know it's or a mathematician weird. could do that on a piece of paper and then have all of those cuts beforehand. It's funny. And that, have, have it per- perfect every time. Mm-hmm. Mo- most people, it. it from the welder's standpoint, it took many, many years to develop that skill. Whereas the physician or uh, the mathematician can learn about math over a few semesters and then have all of that knowledge. See, I still don't. They I don't, don't, have the skill I don't even to do know that. if like uh, like doing blueprints and like doing all that kind of stuff is really that much trick. Like you know, you're not doing a lot of a plus y equals c or whatever. It, it or no, X, it, you're not doing a ton algebra. of like angle stuff. Uh, so even some like digital artists, people that make uh, like Instagram art and cartoons, they'll use some complex math. They don't. They might not realize I guess you like might, pro- proportions and ratios. Thing. They, and you might have used a formula like that in a cell, Excel. Mm-hmm. Like. As as a as a sales manager, who math, literally math does runs the world math. Yeah, every day, like my entire everything that I'm shooting for has to do with trends, money, numbers, percent to goal. How much commission? How much margin? I have to do math every single day. I'm really good at it. My boss thinks I'm a human calculator. Right. Anytime there's an equation, um, he'll he'll just ask me, mm-hmm. and then he like gets a kick out of it when I beat the person before they can get it into their calculator. Yeah. And then she thinks it's hilarious. It took me three tries to pass college algebra. Right. There is no way that you can tell me that I don't know more math than the average do. There's no reason that college algebra should be the way that it is. There is life math that doesn't involve 90% of what they're teaching in college yeah, algebra. Yeah, college algebra was bullshit. I don't need to know how to Freddy foil. It's I don't need to know how to foil. And you know what? 99% of people don't need to know I how to foil. A, I took a business <laughs> I took a business math class. That's all about problem solving. What I've never had a good good enough math teacher to show me the correlation to algebra and real world problem solving and critical thinking yeah. at the end of the day you're given a bunch of pieces to all of the, to a puzzle that you have to solve for that's yeah. kind of at the end of the day what what they want you to learn the equations themselves foiling factoring sure in these weird math circumstances it, it you'll have to use i that. think the time could be better spent 
doing something else. I, I agree. I think there's better hands-on activities that that teach better, better training, better critical thinking. Because yeah. at think, the end of the day, that's what we're after. We're after people that can I also solve think problems. That, I also think that it's stupid to think that a kid who's 18 can make a big life decision. And a kid who's 14 is going to make anything that much different. And like, maybe like as a, you know, they get into high school, if somebody's like, you know what? I really like doing construction. Why don't they make his high school a little bit more set up to, for that, construction? You know, that like, is learn, happening learn, slowly, but it surely. Is. It, it really it's is. It's cool to see. It's one and of those like, man, I wish I had that when I was that same, age. Same thing with like welders or, or anybody who's doing any trades. kind of trades. Yeah. Like every, and I know they're doing the VOTEC like we talked about, the vocational school. Well, there's, there's a lot of companies that are doing like skilled trades and, and trades. That basically, they're short on plumbers. I also think it's a huge disservice. I've heard that. There's to, a huge shortage on plumbers. To our smart people. Like Diesel mechanics when, too. When smart people are identified in school, they get put in the math and science and the oh you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer you can point them towards engineering or welding I'm, or these these other trades and they'll probably be better set off for life than going down i, I, was, I can't go back to college you, you could if you wanted to i no 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 no. i'm not saying that because i'm like oh i can't go back to college you, you, you got kicked I, out I, of there i know were, i'm in i'm in the sale no 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 ran you off on a rail I, I i fell into a sales funnel i became a salesman Tyler's story is a lot of the same way, but like I, I became a salesman and then I became a sales manager and I was shown to have leadership abilities. So I was in charge of other salespeople, trying to inspire them to sell more. Every job that I got from when I first became a salesman has paid me more and more money to the point now that I make a very healthy living doing that. If I was to go back to college, anything that interests me Starting out, I'd probably be making half of what I make now. I've got two kids. I've got mouths to feed. I've got responsibilities. That is crazy. I don't hate my job. And so at the end of the day, like that's where I'm at. Like I I could go back to college. It would be fiscally super irresponsible of me. Right. Like it just would be. Like it just doesn't make any sense for me at this point. Not in my for life. your career. No, like, not at all. At? Yeah. I, I like to podcast and I like to be a sales manager. And it, you have a I'm job. I'm doing both right now. You have a good enough job. You can retire from it. Like yeah, they, absolutely. they take care they, they give take me stock care options. It, it's it's a good place. No, it's it's, a, it's definitely it's a good sitting spot. Now I, but then you good, ask me, do you see do you see yourself doing this in ten years? And the answer is always no, because I've got that like weird thing in the back of my head you where I always dare to dream. That's right. the millennial. Right? That's the, you that's gotta, that you dare gotta to try dream. to kill the millennial in you. Like I, I like I've well, no, whenever anybody asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, for as long as I can remember, and you've probably heard this before, um, Tyler. I'm, man, I've I've done a lot of stuff where I've like motioned and yeah. stuff and like nobody's watching this yeah, so there's this, no camera yeah there's gonna be a lot of like i don't like i'm not following brandon but uh i didn't have like oh i want to be a fighter pilot or anything i wanted to be in a textbook oh right on that's not like, like what do you want to be what do you want to be when you grow up in, you want to be in a textbook I want, anywhere I want any to be, type of textbook i want to be in a textbook see i think i i the reason i say you got to kill that millennial is i let my millennial run wild sometimes <laughs> and like i have big dreams bro like, like so, after last week's podcast hey i had to buckle up hey uh it was yeah, something yeah me, me and grace i was talking to him about my my, my honestly i've been plans. i've been thinking about it all week it's it's not it's not terrible. It's not, but anyway, but it's, like, it, but it's like big dreams, yeah. and it's like you got to be a little bit more so realistic. Like back, back to brand, like in the tech. Like, so a lot of people look at me like very like curious about it when I say like, that. There's that that woman that got like hit on the head with a duck that fell out of the sky and was like a medical anomaly. So I want to do something that was so vitally important because also keep in mind that I'm an atheist, right? So mm -hmm. once I'm dead, I'm dead, right? It's done. So what do I have? I have my legacy. Mm -hmm. So if I do something vi so you want vitally, like a building named so after you vitally important, like I see, I see, I see to society saying. that future generations feel that they have to teach other future generations about me and something I did. Okay. Then, then I, my, the circle is complete. How am I going to do it? Well, I, there's a million different avenues to get there. Is it going to be, am I going to be a president? Am I going to be, am I going to cure cancer? It's been a while. Am I going to things, take like, down like big pharma in a huge lawsuit? Right. And like that they're going to be teaching in law school for years? No, I, I have no idea. But that was what the goal was. Ever okay. since, uh, for as long as I remember, little 12-year-old Brandon, I want to be in a textbook. 
Like that, that has been my goal. So what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to do something important. So you ask me where I see myself in 10 years and I go, man, I don't know that I can see because no sales manager at a home improvement store gets in a textbook. So I do have that dare to be great. And that's the millennial in me, right? Like that's the, that's why you got to kill that. Like you can't, you can't drift too far into your dreams. Like if you got a good gig, you need to stick with it. Like like you might be one of the few millennials who get to retire from their gig. (laughs) Now the worst thing for your dream is to be comfortable. Like, and I hate to say that to all the millennials out there, but you know, like you got to think and like, you know, sometimes you got a pretty good gig. Honestly, if you think about this, if you set your standards low, or if you have no standards, you'll never be it's, let down. It's not that, <laughs> it, you know. Like I, I think some some people like you get you get a you get a little too too dreamy eyed. You gotta you gotta really right. The the grass is greener on the other side. Always right. But sometimes the grass is pretty green on this side. We yeah. did, we did this with the podcast for a while. Like, and this is the first time that it's really hit home, right? But. This is the first time we've put ourselves out there. But there was a couple podcasts. Like, if you first you don't succeed, never try again. Yeah. Destroy all knowledge. Yeah. Make sure there were no witnesses, and it never happened. But we did try again. We, we did try and, again. And we, are we did keep trying. Was that advice? That was advice that you read? Was <laughs> to, to destroy it. it and run? <laughs> that's Brandon's if advice. You try, oh, like, if you, man, if you like, try and you fail. And you just and you that's and you take care of all the witnesses. So I'm a big like uh, I, I'm th- that's a joke, Randy. Person. I'm a big Randy Marsh fan from South Park. And yeah, it's not over till you hear a bell, and I I didn't <laughs> I hear, heard I a bell. Don't hear no bell. That guy repeatedly gets the shit kicked out of him, but you keep on going, and Ra- that's how you. And he never say, wins. By the way. <laughs> Randy Marsh. All right, that's a guy that I bought to live my life based around. <laughs> Oh, I, go, I go to the church of Randy Marsh every Sunday, and we don't get out till I hear a bell, and I didn't hear no bell. Um, for those of you that don't watch South Park, Randy Marsh is one of the dads on South Park. It's fantastic. Check He's it a great character. Man, you got to watch the pandemic special. Oh. You've, you've got to watch it all. Yeah, it's you got to watch great. it all. No, so that's my big thing with success: is people get to success because they never give up. Yeah, no, that's well, and some people. On. So no. some people do that. Some people are spoon fed success. So we started well, talking about the school true. system. Yeah, no, I'm. I sorry. think this school system is is fucked. I don't know what to do with it. And like, and I know that like where we went to school ain't even a good example because Keep there's on people conjugating verbs out there, guys. There, there's <laughs> there's people in schools that like are worse than what we had, right? Like, and this is in America, like you know, like yeah. inner city schools, stuff that are low funded. And I'm not just saying this; like, I'm just trying to get off this topic and finish it up because I think we're all on the same page. They need like things need to be set up to where equitable it's, and it's more realistic based off uh, of where that person may w- even want to go in life, especially high school. I think high school and eighth grade, I think really from eighth grade on, like you could really gauge a person on what their desires and stuff are and let them kind of go into that realm. And, yeah. you know, if it's music, right, maybe you show them like, Hey, these are the type of jobs you can get in music. Like not everybody's going to be a singer, right. but maybe you could be, you know, like you could work at a radio station or you could, yeah. you know, I work at a record company about allowing, or you could work at a, you know, a te- technical store or something like that. Allowing more open exploration of, of different and just exposure, exposing to different types of careers. Careers need to be a focus in school more than the diploma, mm-hmm. because in the end. You can't eat a diploma. And guess what? One of these days, you're not going to get grades and have finals to study for. And how are you going to measure your life? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yep. You're no, not, I, I, not, I will. I will. I will agree to that. Um, the. Uh, yeah. Basically, you don't have to know exactly what you want to do. I will say that if you're like, I really, you know, I want to be a teacher. Like there needs to be a teacher that's like, look, kid, I've got a master's degree and I'm ninety grand in debt. I make thirty grand a year. Yeah, and I only and I work and I I I have to take a second job during the summer to to eat. Right, and and I I don't eat well. I have to deal with the emotional burden of a hundred and sixty some odd students' stress and life. By the way, I'm ninety grand in debt and I only pay off about half of the interest that compounds every single fucking year i owe more and i'm more in debt let people know what by the way we should pay our teachers more oh shit like fuck that's a whole nother fucking no i I don't want to start the topic i'm just saying that that is truly a scenario 
and it's fucking it's fucked up. I think it's they get paid up. too much as it is. <laughs> That's a joke. That is uh, Grayson. He lives at fourteen forty two. I don't know what happened. I, I just live. got a ton of dog poop on my porch this week. <laughs> and a pig head. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. No, I. So we're we're all in agreement that they could do better at teaching just, life skills. Yeah. Okay. Well, Harmony, I hope you appreciate this episode. What was you talking about right before I I wanted to get back on track? Because I I wanted to deep dive into that. That's why I I, I stopped. God damn it. Fuck. You'll have to listen to the podcast, Tyler. I got short term memory problems. (laughs) Tomorrow and next week, maybe we can talk about it. Wrapping up. Uh, No, absolutely. Absolutely. I thought very good podcast. This was a good podcast. I'm very excited about this. this. I like this one a lot. we we went we went we we didn't go deep at all, only you know, religion, I, I education, it was deep and where yeah. can the good people find us? Well, again, this is a conversation. So if you listen to this, <laughs> let us know what you think about what we talked about and like how you feel and where we were wrong or where we were right. And you can find us at the Unclaimed Pod on Twitter or. Critically Unacclaimed on Facebook. Critically Unacclaimed on Facebook. And as well, you can find me at Brandon Andrews on Facebook. I went public. Oh, very nice. Yeah, absolutely. We're also on Instagram. You can find Critically Unacclaimed on Instagram. Uh, We're we're developing the Instagram page. I'm Mr. Tyler Hicks on Instagram and uh, UnTyler Hicks on Twitter. Unlike Tyler, if you think that I'm wrong... You don't have to comment. It's totally acceptable no, I want for you to, me to if, live if, in this especially, world especially where I am right. If you think Brandon is wrong. And by the way, I, think I don't Brandon think, is wrong I, a lot. I know I'm and right I would love about for 90% more people, of the things that I say. I would love for more people to be on my side about Brandon being wrong. Because we all know he's wrong about a lot of things. I'm wrong about nothing. End podcast. <laughs> Peace out. Straight from the mud like Ruby Straight to the stair, they love me I understand they hungry But please don't hate, that's ugly I've been sliding, shaking, moving I've been popping in my city Shawty say she love the way we do it Do it with me I be too turned up to ever give a fuck I ain't come to argue, let a nigga fuck They been talking pennies, I need bigger bucks About to catch a flight, I need to switch it up that black boy joy might do my dance on him hey, Take no disrespect, might put my hands on him hey, Hit this chicken, now she wanna marry me okay. But she gon' need some closure and some therapy no way. Came back to the city with my bank account on F Ooh. Giving rappers hell, I know they happy that I left Hot. Hit the south in winter, I just put Ooh. down my deposit yep. 82 degrees, I left that jacket in my car. I'm in the mood for a switch up I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker She picture perfect so I told him I'm a flicker Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up I leave the city and return with my change up They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us They wanna knock me down but somehow I just stay up What's that? What Left out with the who she yeah. Laying game like 2D. I been kicking shit like Bruce Lee. Okay. Margarita to the brim tip. Black yeah. denim need a slim fit. Yeah. Same people that I flex with be the ones that I'm in the gym with. I'm a living legend, you a dead cause, and I'm dead ass. No, I'm dead, right? Leave her early, but I'm her night. Long and short to keep the head right. Teed up out in Malibu, got sand all in my good shoes. Okay. Press a nigga with the pessimism, but I only came for the good news. I am the show that they came for. Hitting the target I aim for. We been discussing the contract Just tell them they get what they pay for I am not fucking with poverty Really it started to bother me I need the yacht with the property They come with the view that you gotta see Came up from the basement Hit the rooftop with a passion Bad bitch with some good credit And a good sense for the fashion Dope blowing with the left hand Ass gripping with the right hand Uber share to the airport I'ma hit you back with my flight Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function Hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picks her perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up.